We're arguing for a proper public interest defence so that when a, when a doctor or scientist speaks out um, on a matter of, of public interest, um, that these matters are debated scientifically rather than in the law courts. We're also arguing for um, much quicker court cases, much speedier, so it doesn't impact so adversely on, on doctors' lives and reporters' lives as, as well. Um, and also that the legal cost should not be so disproportionate. Uh, sometimes the legal cost can cost can be hundreds of thousands, whereas the damages, if they won the case, would only be under £10,000. And we're also arguing for um, the fact that commercial organisations should only be able to sue for libel if they can show malice and financial damage in this jurisdiction. At the moment the, libel, the English uh, libel laws are used by companies throughout the world um, because there's, there's additional problems here in the sense that if you publish something on the internet and it's available in England, the English libel laws can be used uh, and each time it is accessed, even, even if it's just by the, the person himself, then it can be used, uh, you've got 12 months again to, to initiate libel proceedings. And the cynics would say that there are a lot of instances when devices and treatments and medications are not being questioned. In your estimation, is this happening a lot, that it's not been discussed when it's actually bad for patient care? I've certainly seen evidence that, that, that some doctors have been um, very scared of speaking out. Um, and, and I've seen evidence that journals have not published corrections. Um, the true scale of it is, is difficult to gauge, to be honest, but we know that there's a culture of fear um, among journals and among, among um, doctors that means that many of them are scared of, of speaking honestly or even discussing things publicly, um, which, which, is, which is damaging because the whole essence of scientific debate is, is, is a robust discourse. The whole scientific method involves challenging a cherished idea, that's, that's how it works. You know, not, not proving it works, but actually trying to break it down. If you're sued for libel every time you challenge um, a, a, an idea, an existing idea, then you would, no, nothing will change. But equally, doctors can be very opinionated, and it would be an adverse reaction, wouldn't it, for doctors to be able to say whatever they liked in ah, privilege at all times? Absolutely. I think, I think there's, there's no place for reckless um, slander of some, somebody else. I think, but I think anything that can be supported by the facts um, really should be, the case should no, never get to court. The judge should look at that and say, well, that's factual, end of story. You shouldn't then debate for, for two or three years the meaning of one or two particular words.